Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 9th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles 26, Ezekiel chapter 35 and Philippians chapters 3 and 4. And our thought is the peace of God. The peace of God is of a totally different character to human concepts of peace. Paul tells the Philippians, do not be anxious about anything. Feeling anxious gets in the way of the kind of peace that God alone can give. Instead, Paul tells us to rejoice in the Lord always, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us be particularly conscious of the need for thanksgiving for all our blessings. Moses' challenge to the nation of Israel was to remember the blessings of the Lord and how he had led them through the wilderness. Deuteronomy 8 verse 2 We are travelling through the wilderness of this world. Does it seem like a wilderness? It does if we re are really spiritually minded. Paul's wonderful words should be absorbed into our minds and then we will have the essential strength to do, as Paul told the Philippians, to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But how can that give us the kind of peace Paul is writing about? We take special note of his next words. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. In chapter 2 verse 13. We gain an ever greater sense of peace the more we sense we are God's fellow workers and have become part of God's building. As Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. The wonderful experience then will be, as Paul told the Ephesians, as we read three days ago, we will have the whole armour of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Chapter 6 verse 13. Returning to our chapter in Philippians, let us read and memorise verses 8 and 9. Finally, brothers... Whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there be is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me Practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.